So we're just going to briefly look at the difference between plotting a graph and sketching a graph. Now, if you're asked to plot a graph, that means you need to calculate a set of coordinates. So we're going to set up a brief coordinate table for the graph y equals x squared. So I'm going to choose just a small number of x values, substitute them into the function, which gives me a set of y coordinates. Now, having found a set of coordinates, we then need to draw a properly scaled set of coordinate axes. So I will aim to do that over here. So x-axis and y-axis. So I have my y-axis in place. There we go. And I'm going to label my axes carefully with a continuous regular scale. And on the y-axis as well. Let's make sure we actually label the coordinate axes and we'll just finish by labeling the negative y scale as well. Now we need to make sure we plot the points that we can accurately. So negative two, four, negative one, one, zero, zero, one, one, and then two, four. We then draw a smooth curve through the points. We do not join the points up with a ruler point to point. It is a graphical curve. It is a graph of y equals x squared. It is a smooth u-shaped symmetrical curve. So here is my completed curve and I will finish by labelling it with its equation y equals x squared. And that is a graph plot. We've calculated the coordinates, we've set up our axes and we have plotted the graph. Now if we are asked, on the other hand, to sketch a graph, then we shouldn't be calculating coordinates because that is not what a sketch is. A sketch is a much more roughly drawn diagram. So I still need a pair of coordinate axes, which I will draw in with a ruler for clarity. We still need to label X and Y on our axes. Now, I know what the graph of y equals x squared looks like, so now all I have to do is roughly put it in position. So I know it's a smooth, symmetrical, u-shaped curve, which looks like this, y equals x squared. But notice I haven't calculated any coordinates, I haven't plotted points specifically. The curve isn't perfect because it is just a sketch. And if it's just a sketch, I don't need to label the coordinate axes fully, but I will just label any key points that I can. For instance, I know this is zero, zero. So let's look at an example that you were working on recently in the graphs topic. We're going to sketch the graph of y equals x squared plus two. So here are some of the things that I saw which we should not be doing. So I saw a lot of people doing this. No axes whatsoever, a freehand sketch like that, which could be anything. Um, there's no markings on it. There is no clarity whatsoever. It could be a random scribble. We have absolutely no idea. So that's an absolute no. A few people went a sort of a step further did a curve like that, and then put in a coordinate like that. It's still not very good. There's no axes. There's no axes that give you some context to the positioning of the graph. So that is also an absolute no. Now, I also saw some people do something like this, where they actually plotted the points and then drew the curve through the points like this. Now, that is a graph of y equals x squared plus 2, but it's not a sketch. It's a plotted graph, and that's not what was asked for either in this example. So even though it's actually a much better diagram than the first two, it's actually not a sketch diagram, so it's not what was asked for either. Now, for some reason, I also saw some people do this kind of thing, as well. And I'm, again, not entirely sure why you would do this. 
if you're doing a sketch, there's absolutely no reason to do that. And then I saw people drawing in something like this. But there's no reason to actually put these markings on. So, again, this is a no for me as far as a sketch goes. Now, the best sketches were done by people who did something like this. So they drew in a pair of axes for clarity and to give their graph a position. And they roughly judged where they were going to place their y-intercept, so 0, 2, for instance, there. And then they simply sketched the graph in place like this. So no plotted coordinates. There we have what I would consider a very decent sketch of y equals x squared plus 2. So the coordinate axes are in place, the axes are labelled x and y, the graph is roughly sketched in position, we have not plotted coordinates, but the key point, which is this point here, 0 to the y-intercept, has been marked on. So to iterate, the axes have been drawn. Remember, some people did not include axes, so their work looked like lots of lines. We don't need to label the axes with full scales, not in a sketch. We don't need to actually plot the points because, as I keep emphasising, we are just sketching. But we do need to mark on key points such as coordinates of x or y intercepts or coordinates of turning points. So of all the work that I saw, the people who were drawing sketch diagrams that looked like this sort of diagram had the best notes on this.